If you're a general contractor, a subcontractor, or an owner, you want your jobs to be on time and on budget. And that means working with Autodesk Construction Cloud, software that lets your team design, plan, build, and operate from office to field. It means getting end-to-end -end solutions, seeing project data in real time, and preventing problems before they happen. Trusted on over 2 million construction jobs around the world. Build with Autodesk Construction Cloud. Try it free today at construction.autodesk.com. Hey Atlanta, winter is the perfect time to start planning for your healthy, pest-controlled spring lawn with True Green, America's number one lawn care company. True Green's science-based approach and year-round local expertise will help your lawn be thick and weed-free guaranteed. Go to TrueGreen.com slash radio to save 50% on your first service. That's TrueGreen.com slash radio. Visit today and get a lawn to be proud of. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, we all got some tough news. Maybe some of you got it this morning. Uh, we all got it yesterday as uh, we heard that a good friend of the show, Bob Saget, uh, was found dead in a hotel room in Orlando, Florida yesterday. Uh, no word on the cause of death, but the police say that there were no signs of foul place or drug use. Only 65 years old. And, uh, you know, for a lot of you, that seems old. But for me, it's like he's only he was only a couple of years older than me. Yeah, that's yeah. You don't think about that. Well, I didn't. Now I do. That, that's yeah. It's harsh, man. Yeah, he was. Uh, and, Bob, and Bob was in the middle of a stand up tour. He had just performed the night before in Jacksonville. Uh, and he put, made some posts on social networks saying that he had a great time. There was no hint of him having any discomfort. Bob has uh, the greatest movie role of all time in Half Baked, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to argue that point. <laughs> Still forever, that will forever be one of my favorite scenes in a yeah. movie of all time. Yeah, yeah. It, it was so unexpected. And and also, you know, his comedy was unexpected in the same vein if all you thought of him was Danny Tanner from Full House. I or feel even, like, you know, the, oh, wow, yeah. the, the host of America's Funniest Videos, which he was also very friendly and seemed like America's dad. He was squeaky clean. And I think that scene in, in Half Baked really kind Kind of foreshadowed what kind of comedy he really was capable of because apparently he wasn't like a squeaky clean comic before he got the gig on Full House. It was just Full House kind of cr changed his entire life. Yeah, he has a look of a squeaky clean guy, and so he was able to obviously uh, play that role very well in Full House. And many people grew up with Bob as their dad. And uh, over the years, we were really, really fortunate to have Bob from uh, on the show from time to time, and he was such a great guest. And I can't believe this was nine years ago uh, when this happened. He joined us in studio for the first time. And we had many phone conversations with him. And finally, he got to come into studio, be with us. And uh, we found that interview. And we wanted to share it with you uh, as it was a great time chatting with the late Bob Saget. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Bob Saget. It's an honor to be here. And it smells much better than I expected. <laughs> what were you expecting? I don't know. You know, a little Silence of the Lambs pit. You know, <laughs> It's really quite beautiful in here. And it's clean and the carpeting is done. And I really appreciate it. Well, I want to make sure people know this because uh, you paid Seattle a great compliment, Bob, by saying that, you know, you love the crowds here, which is why you're doing, uh, you're recording your performances tonight. People listen. Uh, and I'm hard to listen to. So there's something about it. I don't know if it's because of their herb use. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're more mellow. I mean, a drinking audience, you know, you put a lot of shots in people and they're not, they can be more argumentative or, or want to be shouted out of the crowd. But a person that's just kind of mellow and chill and has a decent amount of smokage, as long as they don't drop the bong in the audience. That's all you care about. And everything's legal up here, apparently. It goes that way, right? <laughs> <laughs> it really does if it's daytime till what? Four in the morning? Yeah. I, I just, I've seen a lot of needles since I've been here, too. I haven't seen the actual space needle. <laughs> <laughs> just walking the streets here looking for friends do you Bob do you I mean as corny as it is do you do you do the touristy things if you go to places like you know I mean yeah. so will you I've been it? in the needle before you have done yeah, that I liked it I wrapped the syringe around my leg and I went all the way up <laughs> and then I, nice. they brought the spoon in the heater I don't know I really don't know anything about drugs so I just well, from whatever movies I've seen right. you know. the spoon and the heater the spoon and the heater the Amish heater they on the Sunday paper 
remember they always show you that's what they use. I need to learn about drugs. I think I'll watch my own private Idaho. You know, I don't know how to. I don't know if train spotting. Train spotting yeah, is the key. That's train the spotting yeah. is a good commercial for Imodium. That's what that is. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's more poo in there than I've had. <laughs> there was a lot of toilet action. There's going a on. lot. Yes. I mean, to the point yeah. of going inside. It's like you're right. It's like meeting John Malkovich's lunch. I mean, if you're a stripper and you've got uh, giant uh, body parts and you want people to see, you could put on there, you know, Target. <laughs> That's a perfect one. It really is. Subway, yeah. Arby's horsey sauce. <laughs> Arby's horsey sauce. You know what that horsey sauce is? I used to eat Arby's a lot. A horsey yeah. sauce is, a, I'm not messing up sponsors by saying this, right? Uh, no. Well, I, I, you, know, you're, you know what? You're Bob Saget. That, okay. that won't keep you from uh, getting <laughs> dead air because I mentioned. Army. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I you know I'm going to plead the fifth on this. <laughs> I like the horsey sauce. With I like the Tomoka yeah. shakes. There you go. Does it have horsey sauce? In it? <laughs> <laughs> now I got to wonder. If you call something horsey sauce, I'm just saying. That's, yeah, it's, it could be considered like what? Yeah, you know, a horsey sauce sounds like it would come out of something horse sized. You know, and that, uh, that I agree with you on that. Right, so far, the <laughs> logic is impeccable, and and it, but it, it, yet it's horseradish, yes, with yep. mayonnaise, yes, with horsey you, sauce. It's horsey sauce. So that's all I wanted to bring up. And, you know that's what? Pretty it's, much it. It's, it's, a a, it's a hell of a combo, isn't it? <laughs> it's something, and it goes right on your buns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah. right around your your beef that's layered in there, thin, yeah. thin sliced beef yeah. um, sure. packaging. It, it, While it, it, eating it, it, it might drip on your chin. Yeah. It drip on your chin. You could wipe it off with the pieces of the meat. Yes. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Who doesn't want Arby's right now? I know I do. I mean, it's, it's got those. Uh, I mean, it's, I can't really continue. I don't think. I, well, <laughs> they don't sell. Over two million construction jobs around the world are taking their projects to the next level, from roadways to railways, from skyscrapers to homes. Make your vision a reality. Build with Autodesk Construction Cloud. Try it free today at construction.autodesk.com. Hey, Atlanta, winter is the perfect time to start planning for your healthy, pest-controlled spring lawn with True Green, America's number one lawn care company. True Green's science-based approach and year-round local expertise will help your lawn be thick and weed-free guaranteed. Go to TrueGreen.com slash radio to save 50% on your first service. Just call 877-415-5296 or go to TrueGreen.com slash radio today and get a lawn to be proud of. Flapjacks, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, we have a call. That's awesome. How about that? Let's go to Cole in Edmonds. Cole, you are on the rock. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Cole. I have a quick question. While you're on Full House, yes, sir. Do you ever tell off John Stamos for any reason? Yeah, I got into him a little bit because he was a teen idol and I was an acerbic uh, comedian uh, with my own little uh, major package. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, hey, you know, I'm just as important as you are. And uh, we've become very, very close. But for a couple minutes there, he was in a tank top and a little hat with Uncle Jesse and the Ripper's hat. And <laughs> I was wearing a cardigan sweater and I had a bouffant hairdo and uh, I felt man. competitive. But uh, he's, a, he's a really, really good friend. But there were a couple moments just because, you know, eight years in a house that can't even possibly exist with three guys raising three girls in San Francisco. It's not even possible. So reality by times. I hope I answered it. Yeah, we got at it a little yeah. bit, but nothing serious. I mean, he was always on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. awesome. Thanks for the call, Cole. We appreciate it. <laughs> That's awesome. We have a text message. It says, yo, Bob, you're ma first. Never been to stand up. LOL, I'm going to be loaded with the Northwest finest herb. Blunts all day. Ragu from Mount Vernon. That is why I'm shooting my special here. <laughs> <laughs> and I say to that, Ragu, I will do my best <laughs> to keep your stone to keep your stone state pleasant. Oh. I mean, you don't want to have someone go through a bad moment of being mellow. So they'll smoke up, they'll get there, and then I'll be blunt with them because that's what they have. I did a couple shows up here for the A&E show that I had. I did one, we looked for Bigfoot with those guys, those yeah. fun guys. Yeah, with Bobo. Bigfoot hunters. Yeah, and I went with them. We had them on the show and we looked for Bigfoot and we couldn't find him and we thought we heard him, but I think the reason that you can't find him is, you know, there's a lot of pressure if you have big feet and big hands. <laughs> that you have, but you are large everywhere. Uh, and I, my, my point is, I think Bigfoot has a small unit, and so I think he's hiding. No one can find him because he's ashamed, and he's naked. He's got hair, but you can still tell if anything's happening. Yeah. So Bigfoot, small package. That's what I'm saying. Every way he's been portrayed on television, they never really show that he's toting anything. So I, you may be onto something. Uh, Harry and the Hendersons. He's in the back seat of that VW the whole time. You never see anything below the dash. Yeah. 
And, you know, these are, that's in the director's cut. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And actually, Dan, if you look at the bottom of his feet, they're covered in uh, horsey sauce. Uh, because he is horse-like. Yes. And there is drippage. Yeah. That's in the director's uncut. I yeah, that's... That. It, I think he was not cut because he's uh, well, no religious group. And, exactly. And when a, when a Bigfoot is born, I don't think they snip it. I don't... You, Bigfoot's I'm coming out on the radio here and saying, I think they are not circumcised. I'm and guessing. This, and this is only because... But look, you've been with professionals. I've been with the guys that look for these guys. So you know. It can happen accidentally. Say a random coyote just goes berserk and yeah. leaps in the air and lands on the crotch of a Bigfoot. It's yeah. possible that they could... But it wouldn't be done in, in, by a doctor. It wouldn't be done authorized. It would be a bad circumcision. Yeah. We're getting a lot of text messages. A lot of people are saying the same thing and they're asking about other cast members from Full House. Like one person says, Bob Saget, how is Kimmy Gibbler these days? <laughs> she's good. Uh, <laughs> she's raising my fourth child with her. <laughs> um, That's so nice, by the way. Yeah. Because yeah. you never hear you never hear these stories where it works out. It, you know, a lot of cats don't talk to each other. We do. She actually comes to my shows. She comes to my stand-up shows, Andrea Barber, mm -hmm. and she tells me to, you know, uh, F off. I can say that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she says that from the audience. And uh, and I see uh, literally every cast member, Ashley and Mary Kate, I do a benefit every year for Scleroderma. And uh, they come to it every year and, do and donate their time and money. And Stamos is doing a play on Broadway. I've talked to him much too much this week. He's uh, And Dave Coulier, um, I, I'm trying to think what Dave's touring right now, doing stand-up. All right, I'm going to ask. I know it always asks, but we got to end it here because people do always ask. So, Dave Coulier, this Alanis Morissette thing, is right. there any truth to that ridiculousness? Actually, uh, I guess I'm allowed to talk about it. They're friends. They still keep in contact over the years. Uh, they did date a little bit. Like, we were doing this show, this family sitcom for 14-year-old girls, and here came this girl that had this song, you know, I want you to know. You know, that, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Jagged Little Pill, which is what Bigfoot has after Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> she did say, a couple of those lyrics to him, but it's, I think the song is about three different people that she dated. And she oh. combined it into one song. So there were three guys in the house. Are you saying none of us? Oh, the three dads. Did, I didn't had thought do about it. that. No, <laughs> and it wasn't Greg Evigan and Paul Reiser either. No, no <laughs> it was no cross pollinating. There. Steve Gutenberg didn't go near her, but it, <laughs> but it was really. Um, I, I, I think she said, "I'm sorry to call you during dinner." I think that was a. And that's that was a lyric, his part of it. That's a lyric in the song. Yeah, that's part of it. He, she had nothing to do with him in a the theater. I know that was in there, and uh, that. See, was, I would want to be that guy. Yeah, I don't want to be the guy the that gets called during dinner. Don't you want to be the guy in the theater? Uh, maybe. I know we got to get you out of here, and yeah, I know you got. Go. I know you got a ridiculous schedule, and we so appreciate you getting I, up this early and coming in and being on the show. Well, you're so gracious, and you've always been on the phone, and I, I'll come in more. I mean, I'll just come up here uh, randomly. I don't even know him. I mean, yeah. I don't think we <laughs> did. We ever speak before? <laughs> Just today, so that's good. I don't even know. <laughs> but you've always, I mean, you know, I feel like you feel like you know somebody, even though you don't, because we've had good, yeah. good phone. Yeah, good you're phone absolutely call. right. Hi, is. BJ, what are you wearing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Headsets. Oh, all right. Yeah. Can you get rid of the sets? Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, and just, uh, you know, he genuinely, genuinely treated us very well and always and, and, and was very, very full of praise about, you know, being on our show and how we did the interviews with him. And uh, he's going to be so missed. Bob Saget, who passed away at the age of 65. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Hey Atlanta, winter is the perfect time to start planning for your healthy, pest-controlled spring lawn with True Green, America's number one lawn care company. True Green's science-based approach and year-round local expertise will help your lawn be thick and weed-free guaranteed. Go to TrueGreen.com slash radio to save 50% on your first service. That's TrueGreen.com slash radio. Visit today and get a lawn to be proud of.